captivated the nation. And 40 years ago today on CBS, we learned done it. In the spring of 1980, the third season of the hit drama Dallas ended with J.R. Ewing shot by an unknown assailant. And because J.R., played by Larry Hagman, was a character fans of the show loved to hate, just about every other cast member had a reason to see him gone. Don't even dream of double-crossing me. Oh, Catherine, don't threaten me, honey. You're way out of your league. For him to be shot just made him even more mythic. That whole season, he'd gotten worse and worse, meaner and meaner to so many people. Anybody could have shot him. But the show's producers had no idea the cliffhanger would become a worldwide phenomenon. That summer, Hagman, as JR, appeared on magazine covers, T-shirts, even beer cans. Vegas started taking bets. Even British royals were intrigued. We were presented to the Queen Mother, and she says, I don't suppose you could tell me who shot JR? I said, no, ma'am, not even you. <laughs> With such intense interest, producers worried the killer's identity would leak. So they spent a day filming each cast member pulling the trigger. Adding to the tension, an actor's strike that delayed the fall TV season. When the episode titled Who Done It finally aired, 83 million Americans, a then record 76% of the TV audience, tuned in for the big reveal. I have finally figured everything out, that's all. Oh, you're crazy. The shooter was Kristen Shepard, JR's conniving sister in law and former mistress, played by actress Mary Crosby. <laughs> It's hard to imagine a show drawing that kind of audience, 83 million people to the TV for one night for one episode. We just don't watch TV the same way. We just don't all come together that way, and I wish we did. Now, wouldn't that be a scandal? And that was a Friday night, by the way.